Discord has this new activity status feature, and people find it annoying because it turns on at random. Now, I'm gonna go back to my roots and do what I do best, make this feature even more annoying. And maybe I'll be helpful and teach you how to turn it off. But this is Discord's activity status. It's also known as hang statuses internally, but basically it's a little icon that shows up next to your name when you're in a voice call, and Discord has a whole bunch of defaults, like chilling, gaming, and wandering IRL, which is not applicable to any Discord user. Now, I get what Discord's trying to do with this feature, but I never use it. The point of this feature is that if you're looking to join a voice call with your friends, you can quickly hover over their name and see what they're doing, even though you could just click on their profile and see what they're doing. But you know what? You gotta make more Discord features, because what's the point of having developers if they aren't making anything? We should just lay them all off. Now, if you go on the complaining cesspool of r slash Discord app, it turns out people hate this feature as if it personally threw you down the stairs when you were a baby. Now, instead of me reading comments of people complaining, because I've done enough of that already, instead let's see some actual tangible problems with a custom activity BS. And the first problem is that this feature makes it extremely annoying to click on your friend's stream. So my good, so my old, good friend, old friend, whoa, whoa I'm, hearing I'm hearing myself, myself. and I want to watch my friend's stream. So I'm just going to click, I'm just going to, I want to watch. I want to watch my... All right, now, now you see what the problem is. You got to like slowly move around the icon with your cursor so that you could watch the stream. You could also just right click and click watch stream, but no one does that. And another issue with this activity status thing is the fact that you can set it to clear, but the issue is, is that it should work and stay like this, but sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes if you leave the voice call and join back, it's going to default to you being chillin'. And sometimes it doesn't default to chilling, like what happened right now. And if you change your status and leave the voice call and join back, it might stick. But if there's a Discord update that happens or a stray muon hit your computer and flipped a bit, then when you join, you're going to be chilling again. And the reason why this feature is so unpredictable is the fact that Discord is doing way too much at once. If I actually go to the experiment and we look for hang statuses, which is the name of this feature, if we open up the menu, you can see Discord doesn't just have like one feature. It has three different options of this hang status. There's one where you have hang statuses with no default, in my opinion, the best one. There's hang statuses where it defaults to you being being chilling all the time, but we're on Discord. Everyone's insufferable. We're not chilling. And then you have the third option where you can have a voice channel topic as well. Basically, Discord's experimenting and you're the test subject, and Discord, I'm gonna save you a bunch of testing time. For this hang status or activity feature, just don't have it default to chilling. People don't like this default. Change it to grubbing instead. And while I was perusing Reddit, I actually found a concern that people had, and it's the fact that if you go online, biggest mistake of my life already, you'll see that in my profile it says grubbing, and people are afraid that this is gonna be used to stalk you across Discord and see if you're in a voice call. And if I go on my alt account, you can see that I'm grubbing. But that's because I'm in the same server that I'm having a voice call in. In fact, if I go to another one of my five gazillion alt accounts, you can see that this is my no text-to-speech profile. I zoomed in way too much for my grandma viewers. But you can see, no activity, no status, and it's because this alt account is not inside of the server that I'm voice chatting in. So you shouldn't have to worry about people stalking you. But those luxurious Discord moderators like myself wearing sharp proof underwear to endure the long hours of moderating, we have actually a valid concern. And the thing that Discord moderators are concerned about is the fact that you can set a custom activity and you can choose whatever emoji you want. Do you want to promote a scam like Rabbit? No, uh, an alleged scam? <laughs> I don't want to get involved in that hole. But you could set your hang status to be whatever. It could be gore, NSFW, maybe a, a, a symbol. But again, if you turn off the external emoji for the server, you can see that if I click on save changes, oh, that's a little buggy. But if I change that permission and go back to set custom activity, you can see I am now forced to use just normal emojis. So despite this feature being stupid, Discord did make sure that people can abuse it. But if you are going to abuse this feature, you might as well have some fun with it. Because hi, Billy Mays here. Are you insecure about your friendship and aren't smart enough to move on if your friends hate you? Well, you can spy on them by pretending that you are deafened on Discord. All you need to do is just go to the link in the description. It's going to be this Google Drive link. Well, It'll look like this for you because reasons, I don't know. You click on that big download button to download this defn.png file. Then you go back to Discord, go to your server settings, and you need to upload that image as an emoji. And it doesn't matter what the emoji name is, you can leave it as defn or you could call it Skibbity Toilet Sigma Ohio Phantom Tax Riz. I hate myself. Anyways, once you upload this emoji, all you need to do is just set your custom voice activity, click on your emoji, click on defn, and you want to set the name to server defend. Make sure you spell it right, I know half of you can barely spell or communicate 
communicate, I've seen your DMs, click on confirm, and take a gander at that. I'm server deafened. And how does it look from your friend's perspective or your alt account if you don't have any friends? Well, if you hover over it, it says your server deafened. And honestly, if I wasn't a chronically online Discord user, I would have instantly assumed that you cannot hear me, which means I get to talk all the smack I want. But I want to point out that if you actually server deafen yourself, you could see that the icons look extremely similar. If you hover over it, it's genuinely very hard to tell. Now, let me be useful for once and show you how to turn off this feature. Now, there's actually two ways to turn this off. There's server permissions or client modifications. And the nice thing about the server permission way to turn this off is that it'll probably solve 90% of people's problem with being annoyed with this feature. And all you have to do is just go into your server settings, go to roles, go to your default permissions. Then you want to search for status, disable the set voice channel status permission, click on save changes. And now if you go back, I got to undeafen myself, but you'll notice that these voice activities are now disabled. In fact, if I go back to my normal account that's actually in the voice call, you can see I cannot add a voice channel activity anymore. It has been removed for everyone. And doing this makes it easy for me and my old boomer friends who like simple things to keep on using Discord like normal. Because remember, we can barely use our computer and that live stream issue defeated most of us. Now that works for most people, but the issue is, is that if you can't access the roles of a Discord server and change the permissions, then you're kind of out of luck. But using client modifications, you can prevent your status from being set to chilling on default. It will always be set as clear status. And how do we do that? Well, of course, using client modifications like Vencord. Now I'll have this linked in the description, but you need to download Vencord, install it. Then if you go to your user settings, scroll all the way down to plugins, then search for no default hang statuses. And if you enable this plugin and restart Discord, you will no longer have that chilling status be set by default. But as you can see, it doesn't turn off the feature. You can still see other people's statuses. So it really only partially cures you of your annoyance, but that's all we can do until Discord decides to not make it turn on by default. But if you want any more details on how to install Vencord and maybe some good Vencord plugins, I got a video right in front of your nose on the screen. I know, smooth transition. I'm killing it today. Anywho, gamer, I packed your lunch for today because that's how much I care for you. Bye-bye, sweetheart. <laughs>